Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. And today we're gonna to show you how to back up your Office 365 account to your local network using a QNAP and a free application. You might be asking yourself, why do I even need to back up my Office 365 account? Isn't it already redundant? Isn't it already in the cloud? Isn't Microsoft taking care of that for me? And the answer is yes to an extent, but there are certain use cases where backing up your Office 365 account makes sense. So yes, you do have a redundancy in location storage. The data is actually stored in multiple data centers and the data is relatively safe up in the cloud on Microsoft servers. But there are a few situations where you may want to have a backup of your data. Number one is for definitely gonna be for compliance issues. If you are required by some sort of regulation to retain a certain amount of data for a certain amount of time. What Microsoft is doing is they're guaranteeing 30 days retention. So if you delete something, that deletion stays there for 30 days, but after the 30 days, it's gone. Other things like a deletion on OneNote, that may last for 90 days, but after that time frame, that deletion is gone. So if you have some sort of compliancy regulation that's forcing you to keep a record of those deletions in the record of all your data for let's say a year or two years or whatever, you're definitely gonna wanna have an offsite backup. There are a couple of other reasons that you want, might wanna backup of your Office 365 data. Number one's gonna be accidental deletions. Sometimes you just accidentally delete something and you forgot that you deleted it or you didn't realize that you deleted it deleted it and somebody needs to go back at a, a later date and find out that deletion. Um, obviously you're going to be able to do that for a certain amount of time with having a, an on-site backup of that data. Another reason is going to be malicious deletion. So let's say you had an employee that deleted all their data at some point and uh, they didn't want you to see certain emails. You'd be able to go back and see those deleted emails or deleted files in OneDrive. The third reason and probably the biggest reason is going to be malicious intent from an outside actor. Obviously Office 365 has been a a major vector, a major point where people are trying to attack and take over your domain or your tenant. If a bad guy gets into your tenant and takes over your tenant, they what they tend to do is delete stuff and let that fall off. And they'll stay in there for a while and get your contact list, send emails, that kind of stuff. Obviously protecting that and being able to, if, they, if somebody does get inside of your tenant and delete stuff maliciously, being able to have a backup of that stuff would be super important. And the last reason, I think probably the most important reason, is in the terms and conditions on Office 365, Microsoft recommends that you have a backup of your data. So without much more ado, let's get into the video and I will show you how to use QNAP to backup your Office 365 data. All right, so let's jump right into the QNAP software. I've logged into my QNAP here, and if you go in the desktop and the, the main, uh, desktop area, you click on App Center, it'll bring you into the application store. And you can search in here to find an app called BoxSafe. Uh, it's B-O-X-A-F-E, not BoxSafe. But uh, anyways, uh, once you get in there and find it, you can just click, uh, go ahead and click install. I've already installed it here, so I won't go through that whole process. Uh, once you have that, it will just be another icon on your uh, desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, and that'll bring up over here. I am already logged in. Uh, as you can see, I have already been running some backups here and testing this out. So uh, you can see on this domain, we are now partially protected. Um, there are some uh, some backups that haven't completely gone through, but I'll go through how we set that up, take a look at your information and or restore from backup. So. Uh, anyways, this is the, the dashboard. It gives you a, a bit of information about when you have been backing things up, last successful good backup, progress on those backups. Uh, it can show you your schedule of when you've done that. I set this up about a week ago and it's going through. This is a big domain, so it's not backed up everything quite yet, um, but it has backed up certain things and we've got enough on it so that we can, we can go through a pretty good demo. To actually set up your domains under domains, you can click uh, add a domain and you can go ahead and click that. Uh, you can see here that it does G, G Suite and Microsoft Office 365. Uh, this video is going to be about Office 365. If you want a tutorial on, on downloading G Suite, uh, let me know in the comments down below and we'll be more than happy to, to set that up. But all you have to do is click on add that domain. It's going to, uh, to ask for uh, five pieces of information. It's gonna ask you for domain name, your domain name, email address, an application ID, client secret, and uh, tenant directory ID. Obviously the domain uh, admin email address and domain name you know. These other things you do not know. So um, click on this little uh, icon here, or this little link here for tutorial. 
and it's gonna bring you to some really in-depth instructions on how to get to your uh, Office 365 admin and how to get these uh, and generate these, um, these other items that you need to set it up. Um, it does take a few minutes to go through this. It is pretty simple to do these instructions, uh, at least at the time that I did this video. These uh, instructions have been spot on, 100%. Um, I do know that the 365 admin portal changes uh, quite frequently, so maybe different than what you're seeing on the screen right now. But um, went through, generated a couple of uh, IDs, put those over into the software, uh, set up uh, some secret passwords, put those over into the software, and then we changed uh, permissions for, uh, I think it's about 10 or 15 things. Uh, it did take me probably 20 or 30 minutes to go through and do this. Um, you can see here, this is the list of permissions. It's quite a few of them. Uh, it didn't take that long, but um, you know, as always, you wanna be very careful and go through and do it uh, correctly so that it, it actually works correctly. I will also say in your tenant in Office 365, it's important to protect these things. It's important to be very diligent about po password policy, complex passwords. Um, so obviously uh, you wanna make sure you are comfortable with dealing with security and that uh, you are using high levels of security. So both your QNAP, your QNAP firmware, uh, all the apps on your QNAP, BoxSafe, keep them updated all the time. Uh, because I, I do, I, one fear I have of this whole process is that uh, somebody does uh, get on your network and finds that the QNAP is a weak link to uh, embed and get into your Office 365 tenant, uh, which would not be good. Or even to have access to the backups and uh, be able to steal your contact list or, um, you know, content of, uh, of your OneDrive or stuff that you don't want the bad guys to get. Anyways, I'm gonna bump back over to BoxSafe. Assuming that we have uh, entered all these credentials, uh, you'll just click add or authorize down there. It will come up and it will be in your domain uh, management. Um, it will then show up in your dashboard as, as a domain. Uh, under settings, you can set up um, the users that are in th that domain um, and set up users that are on, on your BoxSafe account. Um, and let you know who's who's got access to what. Under tasks, this is where you're gonna set up the, the backups themselves. You can have uh, a, a bunch of different tasks. You can back up certain portions of each uh, domain. So let's just say for an email account, you wanted to back up just the, the Outlook uh, address book or, or the Outlook um, inbox or you wanted to just do the calendar or you just wanted to do the address book or you wanted to just do the, the OneDrive. Um, in here, you can set up those tasks so that they do those uh, correctly. Actually, this is just the list of the tasks that are running. I'll show you where to set the actual items up. You can see the things that are scheduled. I schedule this run every night uh, and just do a full a full backup. Um, you'll see that um, we certain things have completed uh, totally and certain things haven't at this point. Um, that's just because we have a pretty large data set here and things haven't gone through um, and all the way backed up. You can also see in logs that you can see what's been backed up. If you do get errors, what those errors are, um, how long things have run. Pretty simple, pretty easy to get through here. Uh, not that big of a deal. I'm gonna go back up to the dashboard itself and I'm gonna click on the domain. And you can see in here that we can schedule actions and tasks um, and we can see uh, if there's a schedule and apply that schedule, um, see what's been backed up. So certain accounts that you don't want backed up, you can, you can un uncheck there so that they don't have a schedule and the certain ones that you do want backed up, you can. Really, really easy, delete users here. Uh, you can add users here. Um, this is also where you're gonna go to check the status of a backup. So if I wanted to come in and see the last backup from somebody, I would click on email in here. Let's just say I wanna check an email in their email inbox and I can choose the user up here. And when I click in there, I can see everything that is in that email. So if I wanted to, uh, if th there was a deletion of one of these emails that I wanted to see, I could just click on it and I could see that email. Really, really quick and easy to do. Um, if I wanted to restore that bit, I could click on that email, I could click restore, and I'm gonna say confirm, it's gonna say okay. Oh, actually, I don't wanna do it there. I'm gonna do an export. I don't wanna do a restore. Restore is gonna put it back into the Office 365. This export is what I meant to say there. And I'm gonna click to my computer, and I can I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. This is gonna come out as an email that I can just double click on. It came up in the other screen, but I can see this 
uh, this email really quick and easily. So if you had something that was accidentally deleted, you can easily go back in and find it. Um, I can also go back in through here and restore it back into Office 365. For some reason, if this was deleted an error and I needed to be back in the tenant, I can just highlight it, click restore, and it will put it back in there in a subfolder that says restore. So in their uh, Office 365 account, they'll have another line underneath their inbox and everything. It'll say the restore from this date, and they can then drag that back into their inbox. Same thing for contacts and constants and calendar um, in OneDrive. All, all the same thing. So if you have OneDrive content, you can find those individual files, restore those individual files. As far as the, the program itself, it's pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy just to, to get through and, and, and kind of find what you're looking for. Uh, I didn't have any trouble whatsoever setting it up. Um, the one thing I will say is that we did take a long time to back up this domain. So uh, still going and we've been at it for a few days. So a little bit faster connection uh, would be great as far as being able to just let this really run 247 and, and blast it. My other big concern here is probably gonna be security and the ability to make sure that nobody can get into this unit and uh, do anything nefarious. And one other thing that I probably, uh, is the biggest thing for us, while it does have good logging and scheduling, um, this doesn't have any interface with our software as a managed service provider. Uh, I think if you're going to do this as a hobbyist, I think this is a fine, uh, a fine solution, but I think if you were going to do this uh, as a business, unless you're, uh, you know, a really small business may, may may do this, but at the point where you have any technology budget, I mean, obviously this is free and that's great, but a good Office 365 cloud to cloud backup hosted in the cloud is not that expensive and would give us some visibility into the backups happening on a regular basis. Uh, you know, my concern here is that you'd have these errors as we're having now, just kind of filling this up, but that you would have this and you wouldn't be alerted uh, to the errors in, a, in a, an appropriate way. For us, if, if we had a client who's uh, backup wasn't happening correctly, we would be alerted to it and we could remedy the problem uh, without there being any loss of a backup. There is some, you know, basic admin of the account itself, but basically what is kind of what you see is what you get. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it does give you some data consumption information. I think that that's kind of important there. I would go to uh, the QNAP website and I would definitely make sure that you are uh, sizing your QNAP appropriately. Obviously, uh, you probably are using your QNAP for other backups and uh, other uses, um, and this is going to take uh, quite a bit of space on your on your QNAP, so make sure you size it appropriately. But that's pretty much uh, BoxSafe in a nutshell. I do think it has its place. Uh, I do, uh, obviously, I love the price being free. Um, and if you do have an Office 365 account that you want a little bit more visibility into and a little bit more uh, security uh, as far as the backup is control and having your own hands on it, I do think this is a, a, is a pretty good option. With that being said, I probably really wouldn't use this in a corporate environment. Um, there's a couple of things that I'm really, uh, that, that really scare me about it. Number one, if you are gonna do this, I would make sure that you keep your QNAP firmware up to date and you keep the applications, all of your applications on your QNAP up to date. Um, and one of the things that we're seeing with ransomware attacks is that people are, uh, the bad actors are going right after your uh, network attached storage. So if you don't have proper password policy set up, they are going trying to get into your into your QNAP. And if they do get into your QNAP and they were able to get into your BoxSafe account, um, they would have access to your emails. So if you're going to do this, make sure that you're using proper password policy. Obviously security is uh, very important to us. Um, I don't think this is, is a solution that I would rule out in a corporate environment for a, a couple of other reasons. Uh, the, the, the main one being for us is monitoring. We use tools that monitor in real time whether backups are happening or not happening. Um, I would be afraid that you would set up to automatically go. Um, six months later, you log into it the next time and realize it hasn't run for three months. So if you are gonna use this as your solution, I would say that a regular backup check uh, uh, schedule um, to actually physically go in and see that the, that it is doing what you think it's doing uh, on a regular basis is, is important. The final reason I wouldn't put in a corporate location is I don't trust the connectivity. So if I was going to use this, I actually would probably put it in the data center um, so that I know that uh, it has the bandwidth and that it is 
um, actually running all the time. But really without monitoring on it, I wouldn't trust it anyways. So um, I do think it's a good solution for somebody that has an Office 365 account, uh, maybe that's running a small business uh, that doesn't have the budget to pay for a monthly backup. But at the end of the day, uh, a good third party online uh, cloud to cloud backup solution for Office 365 is not that expensive. And I think you're gonna get some security and you're gonna get some monitoring uh, interface especially at the managed service level. Uh, obviously we're a managed service provider and we use these kind of enterprise grade uh, solutions. I think you're gonna get more security, you're gonna get more reliability, and you're gonna get the ability to monitor and know that it is happening on a daily basis. So if you have an Office 365 account and you already have a QNAP, I think this is a great little solution for backing up your Office 365. I hope you found this video of value and if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions or you'd like us to test anything else out with BoxSafe, please leave it in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next video. Am I done with that?